En dansk vil sige tvivler. 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 My name is Thomas, and I am the singer for Tvula. And Tvula is a four-piece band from Copenhagen, and we've been around for far too long. Uh, <laughs> we've been around since two, 2014. The idea to do, I guess, fast punk rock style hardcore stuff, but we also wanted to mix it with, I guess, more of an avant-garde or like an alternative take on punk rock because punk rock easily becomes very conservative in its expression. So we were actually interested in trying to, to do something that was still recognizable as, as hardcore or punk rock, but still something that had a bit of adventure to it. I would definitely include the word adventurous. I think I would also um, incorporate the world uh, swing because I think that's really important when you play rhythmic bass music that you have like a certain kind of groove. But also I think it's really important that it's loud, uh, both literally loud but also metaphorically loud, expressive music. Um, and I think the, the, the fourth one would be that it's... Um, Curious, maybe? Yeah. Uh, if you do like a literal translation, it means someone who doubts. I guess in many ways it's a summary of a particular approach to not just writing music, but also uh, an approach to figuring out a way to position yourself in the world. So doubting is in many ways uh, an inquisitive mode, but it's also a mode that's filled with uncertainty. So there's a really interesting tension in that. But the general themes I would say is, the, the overall theme is crisis. Uh, and if you look at the, 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 the original meaning of the word crisis from Greek, it means judgment, it means uh, evaluation, it means investigation. So a crisis is an open opportunity and a crisis is an invitation to explore and to evaluate, to figure out what you like and what you don't like. In the day on better hill on Men jeg kan lide hvad det gør ved mig The style of singing is one that permits me as a singer to be first and foremost expressive. I used to think of myself as like, a, I'm a good lyricist and stuff like that. But when I started writing in Danish, I actually found out that it's really complicated to write in a language that you have become accustomed to using because all of a sudden you realize how much nuance there is in your way of formulating yourself, but also how you stress certain words. And I think a lot of people whose native tongue is not English, but who choose to sing English, they sort of miss out on that nuance a lot of times. Second, it's my natural emotional language. So it just connects more easily to the whole affective dimension. And uh, it's fun. We'd actually just like to continue doing what we do, which is write music and record it uh, from our base in Copenhagen. Try to play as many interesting shows and, and hook up with as many interesting people to fundamentally underline that sense of creativity and curiosity. So that's like the, it's a, it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle for having these things happen to us. For me, music has, has always been uh, a means of expression. It's always been uh, the one place that I can go to in the world and sort of be like, not at peace, but like it's a particular space where I can just be in a particular kind of existential mode that I, can't, I cannot be anywhere else. So I think without music and particularly without the kinds of music that are gripping and emotional and, and physical, I would really miss that aspect to have that space. 
because I haven't found it anywhere else. So so yeah, it's 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 also like a survival tool. <laughs>